about it. Don't worry about it. Just nice and tight. Nice and tight. Keep kidding him. Get back to the box. Yeah, well, just, I see. He comes, took the punch. Listen, Michael, then he had to get down. Time. That's a one inch. That, that shows the effects of a good solid punch. He could probably could have, have stayed on his feet, but he knew he was hurt. So down he went. At least it shows that his head was clear, not his thinking was clear. But it also shows that Molotov has the power to hurt him. And that's troubling. Just when Hunter was getting his confidence. Psychologically. Michael Hunter knows he's picked himself up off the canvas to win the four. But the man in front of him is the best he's faced yet. He's got to be careful that he's not counted again quickly, Jim. Yeah, but I mean, what he was doing in the first couple of rounds, it was very controlled. He was forcing Molotov to make the first move. It's just when he started committing himself. This is better, just take his time, get close before he lets the punches go, don't reach with him. The Molotov thrives on mistakes. So you just need that little bit of care. Couple of juicy right hands from Hunter. Back comes Molotov, beginning to open up this. Just sags back there, Michael Hunter. The trouble with Hunter's work, it's scrappy. The action's a little bit untidy at the moment, but Molotov's punching is cleaner. He's setting himself better. And now Molotov has the middle of the ring and working Hunter's body. That was what trainer Chris Johnson was telling us at the weigh-in. They'll be targeting that area. Oh, left hand, huge shot from Molotov. And Hunter has to go down again in the fifth round. He's cut. He looks in his corner. It's all going wrong. For the Hardipool man, he shakes his head. He's not going to make it. The dream's over for Michael Hunter. And Steve Bonitor becomes the IBM Super Bantamweight Champion. And he just proved too classy and too powerful. And Michael Hunter couldn't live with him. A sad, sad story for the Hardipool fans. But he was always facing a very hard ask. Yeah, but we didn't expect a stoppage defeat. We thought he may have been outsmarted. I think that really is a shock to everybody concerned. But being honest, he was caught cleanly twice, and twice he was on the floor, and the second time, no hope of recovery. You can see he was still stunned by the time his corner men came in and took him back to the corner. That was a massive punching from Molotov, who's not looked upon as a world-class puncher. Well, we'll maybe have to rethink that. But every time he landed cleanly, he was power trouble hunter. You see, so the, that was the first shot, just a little, a little delayed action. Tries to cover. But it's just not natural for Hunter to box carefully. He always knew that a fire was there. But look, look, look at the effect in the legs there when that left hand landed. He found the left hooks, Molitor, didn't he, in the fourth round as well. That was the answer. He just seemed to be finding that a little bit more time. Hunter was boxing very sensibly in the first couple of rounds. He was just staying on the edge of range, but not committing himself. But this fellow, every mistake you make, he's going to punish you for it. So when Hunter started committing himself, making some mistakes, and this is what happened here. And the Canadians had worked so hard on the power of Steve Molitor and Michael Hunter, who ruled at British Commonwealth and European level, just finds this one step too much tonight anyway. Steve Molitor, the world super...